Assalamu alaikum everybody. So, it's getting serious. This damn groundhog eating up all my stuff. So, needless to say, this is turning into a war. I've put big rocks in front of um, the entrances, entrances that they have, it or they, has um, burrowed under my fence. And I would say the blocks, I got them, they're like pavers, heavy pavers from Home Depot. I would say they probably are about 10 pounds each. So I put like a couple, first I just put one, came back a day or two, that's like was just thrown about. And um, so I put it back with another one in front of it. So that's like 20 pounds and I put a couple of bricks. Didn't stop. So I went online, did a little research. I called my son, he told me how they do things on the res. And so he told me to get some fishing line, which I did. He told me to get the um, 30 or 50 pound and that's what I got. And it's like, I think it's $1.97 at Walmart. Then, um, what you're supposed to do with these, well, you put like a stick or a stick or something in the ground at, you know, either end or I would say like intervals. And you take the line, wrap it around the first one and pull it taut wrap it around either the ones in the middle and the end the other end or if you're not going to use middle stakes to the other end and maybe like go back and forth maybe every three inches or so I would do it all the way down to the ground because again they burrow and um you know they hit it when they not just groundhogs but other animals too when they're trying to come in they'll hit this and it'll scare them and you know send them scurrying away hopefully hopefully I also did a little searching online and they said to use mothballs I got this also from Walmart it's a 16 was yeah 16 ounce a pound pack they come in two bags of eight ounces I'm going to break these up though and probably um, tie them in like probably pantyhose or something because I have pantyhose at the house that I bought a while ago for um, vertical gardening so I'm probably gonna just um, cut those up and put some of these I don't know how many yet maybe about six or so in little makeshift um, pantyhose bags as, as you have it and also Irish Spring soap they hate the smell of Irish Spring soap apparently, which I can dig because I have never liked the smell of Irish Spring soap either. So I'm going to also use this, put it in um, the same way I'm going to do the, moth, the mothballs. So hopefully child is to keep them out because they have been eating everything from my echinacea to my collard greens to my sunflowers i'm hot i'm mad i know a lot of people like oh it's nature you should let them eat them screw all that i bet you that the bush people don't let no animals come and eat their food god damn it i ain't gonna eat them but i'll let you know how it works out <laughs>